Hey there friends and enemies, Joe Perez here once again and I've got another Destiny 2 video for you. As you know, I love posting Destiny 2 Titan builds and this is another one that I've been running and I absolutely love it. This time with Trinity Ghoul, Aeon Safe, Bottom Tree, Striker and it's been so much fun let me tell you. I absolutely love this build and it works in a lot of different content. Might not necessarily be a Grandmaster build but you could run in a lot of other activities. It's great for ad clear. It's a lot of fun and fun is what I'm all about with these builds sometimes. Some of them are going to be really meta but this one's more just having a great time and just seeing how many ads you can clear at one time and how much fun you can have in the game. If you enjoy the video hit the like button make sure to subscribe to the channel helps me out tremendously and also like i said i post destiny 2 tie-in build videos pretty much every week or every other week at this point so i really enjoy doing it so show me some love if you do enjoy those videos now obviously this build is centered around trinity ghoul i'm using that for most of the time I have in the gameplay, I'm running a little bit of Gambit and a little bit of Nightfalls. For Gambit, I'm running the Shotgun with one two punch, and then uh, for the Nightfall, I'm running Peace Bond Sidearm. And that's because I'm basically a support character with this build. I'm running the Aeon Swift so I can generate ammo for my teammates. I'm, I've got my Unstoppable and my Overload mods on. I'm doing everything I can. I like to run Trinity Ghoul and Gambit because I can kind of sit you know, towards the middle of the, the bank clear out ads as my teammates are getting in there and then use my sh uh, my shotgun in order to clear out the blockers that the enemy team does send over now I, this i was running half truths honestly you can put a better dps weapon on if you want for your heavy but i wanted to run an arc weapon and i just got this recently with eager edge and i just like flying around the map as much as possible so that's why i'm running it again this is for fun and not really for uh pure out of this mind build but the build is very good and it's going to keep you alive so if you want to run this definitely do so if not switch it out for the heavy of your choice now i'm running elemental armaments and it pairs with hair hands on pretty well i'm getting up close and personal quite a bit then i'm running my aeon swift this is the combo that i found that i've absolutely fallen in love with sect of insight using a finisher generate special ammo or heavy ammo uh as well as uh, nearby Aeon allies who do not have it uh, will gain a bonus to weapon damage for a short time. But that combines perfectly with Overcharge Wellmaker, picking up an elemental well, grants energy to your lowest energy, but defeating a combatant with a finisher spawns two elemental arc wells. So this is fantastic, and these two synergize very, very well. Uh, I have higher s resilience on this character because I'm going to be up close quite a bit. Then we've got Font of Might. Again, this is an elemental well build that I really enjoy. And it work, it synergizes well. That's why I throw on melee re, uh, damage resistance. That's why I have high resilience, all that kind of good stuff as well. Then we've got Well of Potency. Picking up matching elemental well grants you super energy. This is nice. Scourge, Scavenger, all that kind of good stuff. So... Then this is a good one too. Seeking wells, elemental wells you create will move across the ground towards the nearby player. This helps out a lot as well as passive guard. So I just swap to my sword, whatever I'm in danger, and then I can get a finisher off, swap to my sword, and then get the heck out of there. You can also throw on some like one of these finisher mods as well, snap load, for example. Uh, it does use up some of your, uh, your super, but I'm not as concerned with this build for my super now obviously it's a mix between getting up close and personal and being long range but i do like that personally i like the versatility of this and yeah i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video let me know in the comments down below are you going to try this build or are there any weapons that you want to see me run new builds with going forward in the future up next is probably going to be built around outbreak perfected because that's the next one that was recommended but i'm open to exotics weapons armor etc uh legendaries weapons that haven't been used in a while that are underrated all that kind of good stuff and those are my favorite weapons in the game because you just don't see them that often anyway enjoy the rest of the video my name is drop rights catch y'all later all right oh i did not just miss that first shot there you go
There are some auras, there are some wells. Alright, perfect. Hello, monkey. Killing that blight returned the soil and water readings to normal. Let's hope there aren't lasting effects. Take them out, please. I miss that one. Just make sure you finish everything with this build on because it's very helpful. So yeah, really the key to this build is using your arc weapons, doing finishers, getting everyone's ammo back, all that kind of good stuff. Whatever's behind this must be underground. Stunning champions. Sky two. that guy get the boost all that kind of good stuff okay yeah this build is not going to be meta in grandmasters but let me tell you it's fun the key is making sure that you're have enough resistance have enough ability to stay alive when you're up close and personal against all these enemies because that's a problem the only downside to this is, is not having a variety of weapons but Little. I don't know why he used it on that. That's weird, but okay, that was late. So yeah, ultimately you'll be generating a lot of heavy ammo. You'll be generating a lot of basically everything you could possibly want for your team, for yourself. Yeah, you're all good. And you're just going to keep pinging all these enemies. From a distance, you don't have to worry about killing them. It really works on uh, strikes like this on other... Basically, you know, most of the content in Destiny can't be done with this loadout. The only thing that's not is probably Grandmasters. I just watched them both get booped. Mega lol. Take that. Oh, I was gonna be toxic, but... Don't get booped again. Oh, I thought it was gonna get booped again. Okay. The goal of this is to be throwing up a bunch of lightning shots, finishing a bunch of enemies, Mortal Kombat style. Overall, just having a good time with it. That's what I like about this build. This might not be the most meta, but it's a ton of fun. Ton of fun. Well, I don't know what just happened there. It does do decent damage when I got one two punch on the shotgun plus my sword. The sword isn't the best role for that, but it does provide high mobility. And I just kept with the arc theme. 
because it does help out a lot. Lots of ammo. The other side. Lots of kills. Not enough finishers yet, though, but... You can clear out whole sections of enemies so fast, it's crazy. Plus, a lot of times, if you want to, you can just... If you have teammates who are playing over there well and gathering moats, you can just stay and watch the, the portal... Easy peasy as soon as they spawn. No problems. Only problem is there. Watch your back. Invader income. I lost my invader. Track it down. I think I oh shit. Down. They're coming back to your side. Hello? That thing like one shot me. Enemy invader is down. Right. You can breathe now. Only downside of this is it's not very good against Guardians, so just keep that in mind. Monks, not for long. Generate some ammo there. I think the HVT is over here. Yep. Yeah. High value target eliminated. Easy enough. Hostiles income at the base. Your enemy called up a prime evil. Damn. They kill us. They we were really rolling them and now we just allies invading. Stopped. We should have plenty of moats, yeah? You're nearly there. Fill the bench. Get that prime evil up. Hostiles inbound in the steps. Small blocker to the other side. You're not yeah, on we lost this one. Kill that prime evil. Portal's up. Go take them up. Allies headed to the other side. Envoy's dead. Kill the prime evil. That was a poor use, super use, considering we, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we all died, but. Enemy team ah. melted their primeval. 